Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some cute little mini journal notebooks that I recently made and I just, I think they're so adorable guys. And I had so much fun making these and they're just like the perfect like little size. You could throw this in the bat in your bag. Um, you could just use it to write to-do lists or any ideas that you might have on the go. You can use it as a gratitude journal, whatever you want to do with it. But it was so fun to make and they're just so adorably cute. I was making all these and I also made this one and I was like, you know, what? I, I can't not keep one for myself. So I'm keeping this one that says dream big. That one's going to be for me. Um, and I just love it. Everything else though is going to be listed in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. But let's get started into the video and I'm going to share with you guys all the things that I used and where you can find the tutorial. So for all of these notebooks, you guys could see that they have a wire. This is cinch bound with my cinch machine. I actually used both of my cinch, cinch machines, the mini one and the regular one. Now the mini one was very, very helpful in punching out these holes evenly because the covers are a little bit bigger than the pages. So I was able to punch out everything evenly because that one was just way easier to use and the numbers make more sense to me than on the big one. But the big one was better to do the actual binding because the big one has um, sizes for the different kind of wires because you could get like a five eighth inch wire, you could get a three quarter, you could get a one inch wire. So the bigger one has the different sizes whereas the mini one is just kind of like one size fits all but not really because you have to kind of be careful so that they don't close too much um, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I used a combination of both of my cinch machines but if you don't have one then you could always do like binder rings um, like those larger loop things instead of like the cinch but I really like it with the cinch because it's just it looks more like a little journal notebook right um but this is a three quarter inch wire that I used on mine um they all have chipboard covers and the best part about this project was that I was able to use chipboard scraps guys so I only had to cut these into three and one eighth by four and one eighth um for the front end the back covers and it's just adorable. So if you guys are looking for a tutorial, you guys can find that by Covered by Grace Creations. Her name is Heather. She has a YouTube channel and she recently shared how to make these cute little notebooks. And I saw that video and I ran with it because I was like, you know what? I have a ton of chipboard I could use because these were so small and small enough. And then I also have a ton of wire for me to use because I don't use my cinch that often. Um, so I actually ended up going through all of my white wire and I used some pink because I ran out of white um, and now I need to order more wire. So I really love it though. I love using the cinch. I've used it a couple of times and I love how easy it is to use. So I really do um, enjoy it. But yeah, now I got to make all these cute little minis and they're perfect for on the go. They're perfect for teacher gifts. They're perfect as stocking stuffers gratitude journals, little to-do lists. Um, you can use them as a brag book if you wanted to, um, but if you're gonna add photos in here, like let's say you're gonna add photos, I would probably take out a page for every photo that you do add in here, cause it's gonna bulk it up. And this fits perfectly with the wire right now, the way it is. So if you start adding photos, it's gonna just not gonna close and it's gonna start looking like this. So I would probably like rip out a page as I add photos but you totally could do that as well um for the pages because I know somebody's going to ask a lot of people were asking me on Instagram what the pages are the pages are just index cards these are from Dollar Tree this is what um Heather suggested that she uses and that's she found the cheapest so I just picked them up when I was there and you just all you do is cut them in half so they end up being three by four inches when you cut them in half and they fit perfectly. So I have 40 of the index cards in um, each notebook. And what Heather did is just like regular three by four size dividers. You could use project life cards or cut aparts or whatever. I ended up just using a bunch of like sheets from my stash. So I have this, all of these. 
okay, papers, um, in my stash that I had purchased from somebody in a D stash years ago. Um, so I was using up a ton of these sheets. I had a lot of single sheets that I don't really have full collections for. So I thought that was, this was the great project to use that for as well because I never ever go and dig through those papers. Um, and I really wanted to use them. Now I didn't use as many as I wanted to because obviously these are small projects. Um, but I did feel like I did a good, like a good amount and I got to use at least something, um, from that stash of mine. So anyway, what I did for the dividers, instead of just like a regular three by four, I actually cut mine into six by four and I scored along the three inch side. And then I glued just on the bottom here and then it made this cute little a pocket like a top loading pocket I didn't include the side here you can if you want I did not um because either way nothing is going to fall out because of the cinch wire and I made these cute little dividers I cut those out on my silhouette machine um and there's two of these tabs per page because it's on the front and the back and I glued them together um and then this is like what's the example of like the um little tag looks like I have one tag in each of these notebooks in the center um, divider so and then I've got some seam binding up on top so that's what's peeking out from the tops and you guys could see I did all my stitching on the cut aparts on the front cover but this just turned out so cute and of course I had to keep the one for myself that has a cute little a doggy paper in it and I just I love it so I'm gonna put that one aside because that one's not for sale but I will show you guys quickly um, these ones so this one says you're my sunshine and my sky full of stars so like I said, there are 40 pages in here, but it ends up being 80 pages if you count the front and the back. One side is lined, the other side is blank because that's just how index cards work unless you get all blank index cards. This is the first divider. Second divider with this uh, floral tag here. And then the third divider like that. So yeah. You got plenty of space to jot things down. This one says, see the magic all around you. But definitely check out Heather. She's been posting a lot of awesome videos. I recently just discovered her and I've been like binge watching her videos. And I love this idea that she shared to make these cute little minis. And they're adorable. And her fabulous idea to use index cards because... Knowing me, I probably would have tried to use like regular paper or I don't know. I mean, I'm glad she mentioned it. I didn't even have any on hand. I had to go out and buy some. Um, this one says you are magic. And it looks like this. I posted these this morning um, in my Etsy shop and a few of them already sold. Um, so if you guys want any, definitely check them out sooner than later so you could get the one that you're looking for. Um, this one actually has a pink wire, as you guys see, because I ran out of white. And this one says you make every day infinitely sweeter. And yeah, all of these covers are nice and sturdy with chipboard. Here's my first divider. Second divider. And some of this is like Maggie Holmes paper, um, like these florals and stuff. Not this one. Um, no, maybe that one. I think that one is Chasing Dreams. Um collection by crepe paper no that's not maggie holmes i think that's just crepe paper this one i think i'm pretty sure this is a maggie holmes but i don't know which one like i said i just had a bunch of random sheets and then this is just a random one and i was just kind of putting them together to see what i like best and how they look this one says my wish for you is all the sweet things you dream of and hope for first divider second divider this one also has a cute little doggy paper the tag and the third divider this one says you are my wish come true I love this like background paper and I love this one also this is one of my favorites love 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 so pretty and so fun and then here's that last divider um, this one said let your kindness fill the world Aren't these just so fun and so pretty, you guys? I mean, it took me a little while to make them, especially because all of the chipboard is wrapped um, with the paper. 
uh, life is better with you next to me this is the only like valentine's day themed one i made with some papers from you know that stash of like random sheets that i had and actually i also had like random cut apart ones because when i did the when i got it from somebody from the d stash they didn't just give me full size sheets anything that they may have like scored into or cut into that was like part of it so i have i had a bunch of random sheets so this is like the valentine's day themed one this is the first thing i had just enough to no i didn't even have enough to do this this one i actually ended up cutting one that was three by four and one that was three and a half by four and i just scored on the half and i put them together if you guys could see i had to glue these together to make a pocket because it wasn't even um long enough but you guys i made it work this one is from the all heart collection and then there's this cute little tag and then this is the last uh divider here there is nothing i could love more than you and then I have this one. This one says, hello, lovely. And your first divider. Second, with this cute little tag. And third. And then the very last one that I'm sharing with you guys today is this one that says, hey, sugar. And it looks like this, but I highly recommend you guys give this a try. It was so fun to make. I think the most tedious part was the wrapping of all the chipboard. Um, and I mean, obviously I had to like cut down the index cards. It didn't take long. It's just, it was a bunch of repetitive scuff stuff because I made a lot of these obviously, but um, they were fun to make. I'm glad I got to use a bunch of scrap chipboard. Um, and these were my smaller scrap chipboard pieces that otherwise I had no idea what to do with. So it was actually perfect. And yeah, check out my Etsy shop, guys, in case you guys are interested in purchasing any. And then check out Heather if you guys just want to make your own. And that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.